Today we're going to be talking about the Canon EOS R6. We're going to take this camera to the UP. Cue the intro. Welcome to another video. Hey, before we get started and take this camera north, I want to talk about why I felt the need to upgrade to the EOS R6. Truth is, this camera has been on the market for about a year now, but it wasn't until a recent firmware update where I felt that this was a true upgrade to my EOS R, which we're shooting this portion of the video with right now. The firmware update gave this camera the ability to shoot in Canon C-Log3. To me, the biggest thing was the utilization of the dual card slots. When this camera came out, everybody was like, yeah, finally, dual card slots. Well, it wasn't until this recent firmware update where you could record video simultaneously into this camera that defeats the whole purpose of having redundancy, especially for live event or wedding photographers. That is a huge upgrade to this EOS R6. That combined with the IBIS in this camera, there you have the reasons. Now we have to put this camera through its paces. Is it a worthy upgrade to the EOS R? Well, let's take it north and find out. You ready? Let's go. Anyway, day one in the UP, we're in Escanaba. Are you having fun? I am having fun. What is your favorite part of Escanaba so far? Uh, walking out by the water. We went by the water, we checked out some of the yachts and some of the sailboats here at the Escanaba Yacht Club. Uh, but we didn't stop to look at the boats. We stopped to check out the live music. There's some kind of festival going on here in Escanaba. I've never been to Escanaba. All I know about Escanaba is Jeff Daniels and the Chubby Chicka Chit. I think that's what he says in the movie. It's a good time. Camera's working out great. I'm enjoying taking photographs with this camera much more than I thought I was. I knew I'd gonna be, I knew I'd love the video, but I didn't know I was gonna love taking photos so much with this camera. It's very easy to use. So anyway, putting this R6 to his paces and uh, we'll check out some of this live music and then we will continue on our UP journey. Any words? Let's listen to some music, what do you say? What is it that we're doing here? 
What it was going to happen? We're going to get on a raft, and you have to pull this wheel to make the the raft go across the spring, and then there's glass bottom in the middle of it, so you can see all the way down 40 feet. A self, I'm not propelled, self-moving raft. Like you have to make this big wheel move. Kitch it a kippy spring. Are you sure? Yeah. What is it, kitch a kippy? Kitch it a kippy. <laughs> what do they have here? It's a, a natural spring, 40 feet deep and 200 feet long. How long is the wait here? I don't know. I've taken off the uh, 24 to 105 and we put the uh, Samsung 14 millimeter wide angle lens. It's just beautiful up here. This is, it's just beautiful here. Check that out. There's still much to learn about this Canon R6. However, I will say I love shooting with it. I use this camera every day this week up here in Michigan's great UP. From waterfalls, to snow lifts, to monks selling jam. I really like the images that come out of this camera. And for video, every video clip I shot with the R6 this week was automatic, standard profile out of the camera. I didn't color correct or color grade any of the footage so you can see what the footage looks like right out of the camera. That said, in future videos, I will check out other color profiles, including neutral and C-Log3. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like icon, share it with all your friends. Also, you can follow me on uh, other social media platforms. I'm on, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter. You can also see more of my content at my website, ronrobinsonstudios.com. Also, while you're there, go to the store, click store, and uh, check out some of your Radio Days, the movie, and Radio Days, the podcast, merch. And you can hear my podcast there as well. Until next time. So 
if you find yourself in Munising, where should they go, hon? Rome Inn. The Rome Inn. So, your thoughts on the Rome Inn? Oh, I really like it. What nice, did you like best? Really nice hotel. And the, the five-star gourmet meal we had last night here was really good at Tracy's. Excellent. So I think more restaurants should have photography from their area in their establishment. We're at the Rome Inn in Munising in the UP. And the owner of the Rome Inn actually is a photographer. And so he put some of his work from around the area here in the restaurant. And just having the photography from the area, I think just adds an element. Well, I didn't even go down here. Wow. Hi there. Even in the rooms. Got an awesome map on the wall, the UP. Yeah, I didn't come down here before, but he's got more of his photos. And I can't remember the name of that falls, but oh my. <laughs> 